I never stop playing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everybody's like, when are you going to grow out of it or when are you going to stop? I'm like, I ain't never going to stop. Right. That's right. my drug. That's what I do. That's what I love doing. Uh, how's it going? I'm uh, Pete Zambuto. Been playing drums for 40 years, maybe, I would say. Damn. And uh, been in a few bands. Lucky enough to be in Politico right back in the day. <laughs> right on, Good right. times they were. <laughs> uh, my first band was Master Thrall. There was a character in uh, Star Trek. We named him after. Yeah. Played a lot of shows with them. Then, um, and Politicrite. Then I was in another band called Die Nasty with, uh, with my friend Jeff, who was the bass player for the Great Cat. And then uh, Rattle Mines. I was in for a while, about three or four years. My friend Billy we used to practice. We rehearsed in freaking um, Flatbush, Fast Lane Studio. So that was a hike. Out here to over there? Yeah, Jeez. every Sunday. Yeah. But uh, that was a fun band. We did a lot of recording with them. And then, oh, Plague Legion. <laughs> Johnny Wildchild, um, Dennis Sadlow, and our singer from Politicrite was in that also. Oh, okay. Um, Plague Legion. Um, what else? Now I'm in um, Inherit the Earth. Been doing a lot of stuff with them, recording. We uh, did the tour with Puddle and Mud already two years ago. Really? Yeah. It was actually uh, the night that Wes got arrested at the airport. Oh, yeah. With the uh, BB gun or some shit that he right, had. Right, right. He never showed up for the show. <laughs> we're sitting there, we're like, all right. And then the guy's like, all right, well, Wes ain't showing. Can you guys play any more songs? We're like, no. <laughs> we can play probably play one more, but we don't want to make ourselves look like assholes. Right, right. You know? So that was a nightmare. So that night got canceled and the rest of that, and then we went back when he got out of jail and uh, finished that. We were with, um, it was us, Puddle of Mud, uh, Saving Abel, and Tantric. And uh, Savior, I was in actually for about seven years almost. Oh, damn. Pete Maglia, Steve Molinax, Johnny Wildchild, um, Dennis Sadler was in it. Right, so Matt Dorner on vocals. Louis Alfiero was the original guitar player that started everything. Then we had uh, Ed, don't remember his last name, a long time ago. <laughs> and then we had a few more guitar players in between. Actually, Kevin Reynolds was one of the original bass players. Derek Stella was our regular bass player. And then in the later version of Politic Right, we had uh, Tom Kemp. He was our guitar player with Matt Dorner and Derek on bass, Derek Stella. And that's Politic Right. And then you got you guys put out this this CD. Yeah. So this is all new newer songs from the new version. Yeah. That's 2000. Do you have a date on it? <laughs> 2008. 2008. I would have never guessed that. <laughs> <laughs> I would have think. 2006 or something like yeah, that, but yeah. 2008, I guess. Very cool. Um, how can how can people get that? That's on Reverb Nation, I think. SoundCloud, whatever. Just type it in, Politicrite. Should right, pop cool. up. Also, I believe uh, Johnny Wildchild was a guitar player for a while too. And uh, Steve Molinax, bass. Oh, okay. Not about him. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they were in uh, the later version with with Matt, the singer, and us, and uh, then we disintegrated. So what was, why'd you guys restart it again, like around two, 2008? So you I got in touch with Matt, the singer, and yeah. uh, then we, actually, Louie was around for a little while, but then he disappeared, and we, and, uh, we had Tom and Louie, and then Louie disappeared, so we just kept Tom. And then we did those songs. Uh, nobody looks like they did anymore, so you can't recognize <laughs> you anybody yeah. or anything like that. Right, right. <laughs> that was you? <laughs> <laughs> I, I had a few parties. I had a big warehouse in Manaville. Yeah. 5,000 square foot building. And uh, we had a couple parties there. And oh, unfortunately, yeah. unfortunately, somebody came and burnt the place to the ground. Really? Yeah. 
he got into a little argument or something with somebody. It didn't even have nothing to do with the band or anything. Really? In the pit, whatever, they were dancing and uh, got into an argument and uh, came back two weeks later and burned the place to the ground. Wow. That sucks. Yeah, <laughs> big time. But, that was uh, your place too? Yeah, it was like in the middle of nowhere on a dead end street. Like, uh, <laughs> nobody would hear nothing. Yeah. And uh, we had two parties. We call it Mucho Metal 1 and Mucho Metal 2. Oh, I remember the, someone posted the, the flyers. flyers. Yeah. 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 We call it the Mandeville Coliseum. Oh, sick. <laughs> <laughs> Louis made that name up. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they were great. We had we had freaking um, the bouncers. We had Budweiser girls. We had everything. The place was packed for both parties. Wow. And then uh, it ended. That sucks. All our equipment got burned. Um, all the tools that we had, all because it was a workshop for my, for, you know, the family business. Right, right. And uh, everything. We were in the middle of a hundred fifty thousand dollar job. Everything gone. That's awful. Trucks that were parked on the side of it, big rack trucks, gone. All gone in the flying sources. <laughs> <laughs> Guy with a trip. Um, actually, I just got in touch with Phil Capozzi, the, the bass player. He moved to Florida. I found him on Facebook. Oh, sick. Try getting in touch with Mike. I can't get in touch with him, but uh, he would come out in a spacesuit, and um, it was great. <laughs> he played the electric violin, the flute. He was insane. He played an old Fender, and he was kind of like... Um, it was weird. It, it was a great show. Though. Was it like prog stuff? It was like rock and roll. We have a CD out there. Oh, okay. Um, it was rock, space rock. He called it. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> he had a uh, he made a landing pad in his backyard. Yeah. For UFOs. That's awesome. And uh, swore they were out there. <laughs> Wrote awesome. songs about them. That's all the songs were about. Really, was UFOs. Really. Yeah. One was called "No, We're Not Alone." And a couple other ones you can see on the CD. But uh, this guy was a trip. And like I said, we played all over Manhattan. We played um, the Wetlands when it was open, Orange Bear, CBGB's, a whole bunch of places. How did you get involved with him? He was just like put out, he just put out looking for a band or? What's that? With him, when I got yeah. involved with him? Uh, yeah. Actually, he found me, believe it or not, I think he found me through Bobby Rondinelli. Oh, okay. I was, I was taking lessons from him and stuff at the time. And I think you might have asked him, and I got my number from him. And, uh, yeah, I played with him for like almost 10 years. Yeah.